Weather 12 forecast. Well, it was day one today of the heat and humidity, and that trend is only expected to continue over the next several days with a heat advisory in effect until Friday. Let's take a look outside right now, downtown Providence, where the inland areas such as Metro downtown Providence here in the city are what, where is going to experience the worst of the heat down towards the coastal areas. It'll be quite a bit cooler over the next few days. Still warm, but certainly not as bad as what we're seeing farther inland. With that, we did reach 90 degrees officially. We keep our records at TF Green Airport with that day one of 90 degree heat. We hit two more days. The next couple days, we will see our first official heat wave of the summer season. And believe it or not, the first day of summer isn't even here yet. Not too far away on Thursday. But we're definitely feeling the heat today, even a little bit before that official start of summer. Right now, 85 in Providence down towards the coast in the upper 70s. Quite a bit cooler at this hour. 72 right now in Newport Smithfield at 86. With that, the heat index, though, in northern Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts still feeling like 90 degrees, and that'll be the main problem that we'll see with that heat advisory in effect is with the heat index values close to 100 in the next couple days, Thursday especially expected to be very oppressive. So temperatures will start to drop this evening, but it'll still stay muggy out there with high dew points in the upper 60s, and that trend will continue with the very muggy and hot conditions Wednesday through Friday, although some relief on the way Friday into Saturday uh, with some showers and thunderstorms expected, which will cool things off as we head towards the weekend. Temperatures dropping back down close to on average in the low 80s. In the meantime, though, let's take a look at that heat index forecast. Here's Wednesday afternoon, seeing those feel like temperatures well into the 90s, especially farther north. Thursday, though, we're seeing even more oppressive uh, heat index values close to 100 in Smithfield, Providence at 96. So nevertheless, going to feel very warm out there over the next couple of days. Your satellite and radar here, quiet conditions wise, not seeing any clouds or precipitation really over the next couple days here. Overall across New England looking quiet as well. We have a strong high pressure in place, which is creating what we call a heat dome, kind of pushing that hot air down to the surface. And with the lack of precipitation, allowing those temperature values to really increase well into the 90s, sometimes this can stretch over several days at a time. Uh, certainly here, though, in our area, even a couple days feeling very oppressive compared to what we've seen over the past several weeks here. And let's take a look at more of the short term as we head towards the overnight. Again, those values not really decreasing all that much here. We're still going to be seeing temperatures in the upper 60s, well above average for overnight temperatures this time of year. And with the high humidity as well, definitely going to want to put those those ACs on for the next several nights already going to be warming up to about 80 degrees even earlier in the morning and again those highs again very hot around 90 degrees by the afternoon with those feel like temperatures even higher as we head towards the evening still pretty warm in the low 70s even by 11 o'clock tomorrow night so your Wednesday morning again here we're going to warm up quickly as we head towards the afternoon your highs very warm around 90 degrees with that humidity as well and that trend will continue as we head towards towards the end of the work week as well, Thursday and Friday. So again, seven day forecasts have quite a few more days to get through of this high heat and humidity here. If you are working outside or planning to spend some time outdoors, limiting your time outside as well as staying hydrated is gonna be important over the next few days. Typically we don't see heat this hot this time of year. Uh, so something to be mindful of if you're gonna be outdoors to so just stay safe out there. Well, thank you so much, Katie. We continue working breaking news. Investigators trying to get to the bottom of the 911.